Hello, in today's video we check out this. It's the IKEA air quality sensor. It's only £10, but is it worth spending the £10 on it? Is it a good air quality sensor? And uh, do I recommend you buy it or not? Let's roll the intro and you can find out. Welcome back to another Spectrum Geeks video. So I have to thank Rod, one of the Spectrum Geeks subscribers. He often idles in our Discord channel. And he mentioned to me about this little IKEA air quality sensor. It's called the Vindrick Ting Ting thing? I don't know, I can't say it very well. Uh, it comes in this nice little box. Um, but on the back of the fact that I got these Philips air purifiers recently, IKEA make their own as well. But I thought I'd pick up uh, a couple of these little air quality sensors for uh, but around the house, also in my Hero camper, and also just to see how does this compare to the air quality sensor on the um, Philips air purifiers I've got. So I've been running one of these for a few days now, and this one I thought I'd unbox and show it to you. So it doesn't come with a USB-C cable or power plug, you need to supply that yourself. So you're probably gonna have one available or you can get um, the ones that IKEA recommend from IKEA. But this is the box it comes in, very plain packaging. I put details uh, in the description as to the name and the model number. But like most IKEA things, uh, the boxing is, is pretty basic. So let's just pop the box open, just like this. And all we have inside is the air quality sensor itself. Just here like that, try a little look around in a moment. And the some basic instructions which come in um, various different languages. So in terms of the device itself, as you can see it here, pretty kind of basic and standard. So on the back, we have some air inlets, which is obviously where it's uh, measuring the air quality. So it measures um, micro particles up to 2.5, so PM 2.5, so basically 0.1 to 2.5. So these are the little inhalable particles that are in the air that may or may not be good for us. And on the bottom here is a little kind of couple of rubber feet and then the USB-C slot on the back as well. It's made out of a nice smooth white ABS plastic. It is um, 5.2 centimeters along the top and 5.2 centimeters in depth. And then the height is 8.6 centimeters. We'll turn on in a moment. There's no noise. There's no sound or anything, no fans. Uh, it's just basically kind of picking up any of the particulates that flow around it. So you don't want to have it right against the wall or anything. The air needs to be able to circulate around it so it can pick up any of the particles. And that will then be indicated on this light bar. It doesn't move, it's not animated, it's basically green, yellow, or red. So green obviously means it's good, yellow means things are okay, and red means that um, obviously the air quality is bad. So I'm just gonna grab um, a little battery pack so we can plug this in and uh, show you what it looks like, and then we will put it um, near a candle, other things to see if we can make it do something uh, and show the other kind of light functions on it. It's important that you have it sat upright like this. So again, the back being like it is with the feet on the bottom, not on the side, not upside down. Again, not near um, a window or something that generates lots of dust, like a fan or something like that. That's not the position that you want it to be in and have it accurate. And they recommend that where possible, you have it 10 centimeters away from a wall or anything like that. You can see here all the different instructions or different languages instructions come in. But again, it's a simple unit. Um, and, you know, there's not too much more to say about it. So let's get plugged in and then show you how it works. Okay, so I'm all ready with the plug to plug things in. So again, we're just gonna plug this right into the back and then I'll have it facing forward so you can see the startup pulsing happen. Just like this. Okay, so now that is fully kind of started up. So you can see here in this position on in the cave, 
everything is nice and green. And again, we will um, move it around the office a little bit um, to show if it can modify the, uh, the air quality based on what's happening. So I'm gonna put it quite close to the air purifier I have in the moment to see what that thinks and how things compare. So when that comes on, is this also identifying that the air quality has lessened a little bit? So put it close to my dog. So you have the, the dog dandruff situation going on. Um, in terms of operating temperatures, um, zero degrees centigrade up to 40 degrees centigrade are its kind of uh, operating parameters. And apart from that, it's pretty much you just sit it there, leave it you know, in the corner of your room somewhere. That's gonna do the job for you. So let's move it around a couple of different positions and see if we can uh, measure basically the effectiveness of this uh, air quality sensor. Okay, so I've got it here near a candle. There is actually a little bit of noise that comes off the unit when I think it's doing measuring. So if we just, uh, see if you can hear that. It seemed that the light kind of pulsed brighter slightly as it started to do the measuring and the, the noise kicked in. So it's not completely silent, but again, just a small fan sound. So let's see if I move this to the rear, if you can pick up the sound a little bit better. But it definitely is a fact that uh, when it starts to do the monitoring, the light does seem to get bright on it, which is interesting. Okay, so I'm going to put this down here near the, uh, the Philips uh, air purifier. The sensor of the Philips is on the back, so I'm going to put them just side by side, just here. And it's normally doggy dandruff that um, will set off the filter normally, so let's give my dog a little stroke. Get that doggy dandruff flowing all over the place. Okay, so the Philips has turned to like its little pinky colour, which means the air quality is okay. Um, but we're still seeing green on the little IKEA unit. So I think obviously the Philips probably has a more accurate particulate sensor based on its cost. The little IKEA unit only costs ten pounds, so obviously you don't expect it to work quite as well. Um, so I think the the measurement capability of it will be slightly different. So I think in general my house is pretty good in terms of air quality. What I've done is I've come out to the garage and I'm gonna briefly start uh, the motorbike up. So obviously not a good idea to be in a closed area with fumes. So hopefully that will trigger some air quality detection, which obviously should be less than ideal. And I think that's the kind of thing that we're trying to detect here. So let me start the motorbike and see if that basically does what we're looking for. Okay, so I ran the bike for a few seconds, well, maybe 10, 15 seconds. I can smell and taste the fact that there's obviously fumes in here, but still this little thing is showing green. So I'm not sure if this is a scientific test or not, but uh, I think it looks nice, but I'm not sure it's doing a, a very good job of kind of telling me that there is particulates in the air that aren't good for me. So apologies, this part of the video is recorded on my phone. I just came upstairs from obviously doing that test with the uh, IKEA air quality sensor in the garage. And I came up, so upstairs and completely forgot that I have a Nest smoking carbon monoxide tester or detector thingamajig in the garage as well as other rooms in the cave. So if you can see one just up there somewhere, I can't use my fingers. Um, but that started to go off basically alert that there was carbon monoxide detected, which is fantastic to see that that thing works. I've never tested that bit before. Uh, so open up the garage door obviously to vent the air out. But again, further evidence I think that IKEA sensor should have detected something based on the fact it was right at the arse end of uh, that exhaust. So yeah, not impressed. But great job on the, the nest. Okay, so back at the desk, 
and uh, obviously just to finish up on the video of this uh, Vindrictic-ting air quality sensor. So I don't think it's very good. It's ten pounds, um, so I don't expect loads. You can even see a bit of black crap over the back uh, from the exhaust fumes in the garage. And where I've been running this in the house for a few days, where the Philips air purifier sensor will go red to say that the you know the particles could do with uh, you know, air particles do with cleaning, this has remained green. So I'm not sure that the sensor in this is really good enough to provide value um, for you to consider buying it for £10. I'm going to continue to run it in the house um, and I'll pin a comment um, to this if anything changes but right now my recommendation is not to waste your £10 on one of these uh, quality sensors from Ikea. Sorry Ikea, I like most of your other products but this one I think is a bit duff. Please let me know down in the descriptions if you've got one of these and you found it's working differently. Perhaps you know more about um, testing air quality sensors that I, than I do, which wouldn't be difficult. I'd be happy to kind of retest this again if there's any suggestions. But again, I've tried it near candles, exhausts, uh, near gas, etc. Nothing I do seems to make this go um, to any different colour. I've tried it with my secondary one as well in case for some reason this is a 40 unit and nothing seems to be changing so I think it seems a little bit duff. Even my own chest can tell that uh, the air quality wasn't great in my garage when I was doing that testing earlier so one to skip. Please consider liking this video if you found it somewhat informative and please consider subscribing and pressing the notification bell icon for other Spectrum Geeks videos. And as mentioned before consider joining the Discord channel where you can talk to like-minded geeks about all sorts of stuff and maybe you can recommend other products that are worth testing out and trying that might be better than this IKEA air quality sensor. Until the next video, take care of yourselves and bye for now.